So after backlog management, the second uh, idea I want to show you today is iterations from free, for frequent delivery. And this is based on Scrum. Uh, of course, we're not going to be able to work on all of these stories at the same time. Uh, we need to select uh, one, some of them to work on. There is a good practice that is created by uh, some frameworks where you work with iterations. So what exactly is an iteration? Is a time box so you select a range of dates usually you know, if we're talking about scrum it's something around two to four weeks where we're going to select some a part of this work to to be selected to work in each sprint right so in scrum we, we call this sprints so for example in sprint one we're going to select from all of these here we have about 20 cards that we need to work on of course, this is just an example. If this was a really, if we were really developing an image editing software, there would be probably hundreds of uh, user stories. But well, we need to start somewhere, right? We need to select some of them to work on. So we would take, for example, enter username and password, uh, upload new image and crop image. We could select these three, for example, to work on sprint one. In Trello and Placker, the idea is that you can create a separate board to focus on what you need to do in the next sprint. I have created a second board here where we can see sprint one, two, three, and four. These are the, the user stories, but instead of using them by Epic as before, now we have them as sprint, right? So this is sprint one. This is what we were working on in sprint one, sprint two, sprint three, sprint four. Of course, uh, you don't need to plan all your sprints, right? That's not the idea. You're not going to plan everything at the start of the project as some other project management uh, methodologies, but instead, when you start a sprint, you select which cards you're going to work on. So we're starting sprint one. We were going, we're going to select this one, this one, this one, and that one. And that's what our team is going to focus on. When we finish sprint one, then we're going to start working on sprint two. And so it goes. How exactly can we create a second board? And how exactly are we going to send cards from our backlog to the sprints? We can use the mirroring feature in Placker, right? So if you have the projects by Placker power up enabled, you can add a card. So for example, uh, let's add something here in, in edit image. Let's call it uh, add a new, a new filter. So this is something that an idea, for example, that some user told us. So if we are working currently on sprint three, let's suppose that we are in currently in sprint three and we are planning everything that we're going to work in the next two weeks. And we decide that add new filter is a feature that we're going to develop in the next sprint, we can click the button card mirror, select the board, uh, what is it called? Agile webinar iterations. This is going to be worked in sprint three. So notice that we are mirroring, we are not creating a copy. And this means that while the card will be accessible in both, in both boards, every change that we do. So for example, if we add a user story, so as a user, etc., this is going to be synced. We add uh, a due date, for example, we plan to finish this on December 2nd. This is also going to be there uh, if we change status or basically anything that you change in the task, right? If you add a checklist, all of this will be connected here in iterations board. You can do many uh, different ways of tracking work here in iterations. And one of the most common uh, visual representations of the work in a sprint is the burn down chart. So if you access placker.com and you open your boards there, so for example, there is a track button here when you have the power up enabled and you can create dashboards, you can create graphs, you can create charts. I have one here ready. So usually you're going to see the, the default dashboard, which shows you uh, the amount of cards, uh, how many cards are completed early, completed late, etc. But the, one of these options is exactly the burn down chart where you can see uh, the amount of story points. Remember that we were ta talking about the story points. So for example, in sprint three, we have 10 story points that we're going to work on. And this shows you in the next two weeks, how many story points are left. So in November 25th, we had 10 story points in scope to be worked on. We have eight remaining. This means that we have already completed two story points.
this is the projection for the next days. So in this case, on December 5th, we intend to have everything ready for this iteration. 